Sarah Ferguson was desperate to marry another man before she met Prince Andrew, and the Duchess of York worried the prince would write her off because of her prior relationship, she revealed in her 1996 autobiography. Sarah Ferguson, affectionately known as Fergie, married Prince Andrew in their spectacular 1986 royal wedding. The pair had a whirlwind romance and became engaged within only months of knowing each other. However, when she met Andrew in 1985, Fergie was seeing another man whom she wanted desperately to marry, and worried that Prince Andrew might write her off because of her prior attachment. The Duchess of York, in her 1996 autobiography My Story, writes how she was swiftly invited up to Balmoral in the summer she had first met Andrew. She writes, Andrew was there with a friend, a girl. I was anxious because Nigel Dempster's diary in the Daily Mail had just noticed my involvement with Paddy McNally. Would Andrew write me off? The Duchess continues, I took him aside and told him that I'd been going out with Paddy, and I hoped he didn't mind. She reports that Andrew said, why should I mind, I like you. I couldn't care less about that. Fergie continues, that was a very good reaction, I thought. Here was a man taking me as I was, without prerequisites or conditions, who knew what he believed, never mind what others thought. Nor was I ever jealous of the gossip of Andrew with some other woman. He cared for me, and that was enough. The Duchess dated Paddy McNally for three years in the 80s, and broke it off with him when she became serious with the Duke of York. She writes, it was in Verbier, in 1982, that I found Paddy McNally. Some 20 years older than I, he had an immense chalet, referred to local as the castle, overlooking the town, and hosted a continual round of parties and business dinners, all with superb wine. Paddy was probably Dad's worst nightmare, not th right age not in the household cavalry, just a man named McNally in motor racing. But I loved Paddy for all the things he wasn't, for the phony graces he rejected, the airs he refused to put on even after he had done quite well for himself. She adds, much of my time was spent with Paddy's two sons, Sean and Rolo, who were 11 and 9 when we met up. Soon we were acting like family, I was their nanny and their friend. However, the Duchess confesses, I worked too hard at being Paddy's ideal partner. I desperately wanted to marry him though I never dared to broach the subject. Even as he kept saying to me, I must do he decent thing, deep down I knew he didn't really want to get married. We were at such different time in our lives, but I as afraid to let the relationship go, to be on my own, in my void, and so I just carried on.